you know, I was riding in the car yesterday uh, when we were heading to brunch for, for my oldest daughter, Aubrey, her 14th birthday. And my son in the back seat was having a conversation. He was talking about his friends and he was saying, you know, me and my friends, me and my friends. And Kelly, you know, she, she, uh, you know, like any parent, we're an English major and she started correcting and said, no, it's, you, you know, your, your friends and you, your friends and you and your friends and I and, and things like that. And, you know, my oldest daughter said, mom, we don't talk like that anymore. You know, nobody cares about correct English and da da da. And so, you know, it hit me and we started to have a conversation about it. And I did some research last night, you know, the English language was written, that particular rule was written because we are supposed to put others before ourselves. And simple little sayings and sentences like that, psych psychology in our mental state can really do something for us. And it does something for our, uh, people around us. We might not think so, it's just a stupid rule. Well, why would we say that? The other way sounds better. But of course it's easier to say for, for whatever reason, but that's really what we're supposed to do. But then you think about it, then you take it a little further, right? And, you know, I noticed lately, you know, and if you're lucky, your family will love you more than you love yourself. But outside of that, that's about all you get, you know? Everything else is on you. And anyway, again, I've noticed lately with my workouts, like I've been going to the gym and I'll get to a rep and it kind of hurts, so I lay back and I finish my workout, put a check in that box and I'm done for the day. You know, I'll go on a run or whatever cardio I'm doing and I'll push to a point where, ah, you know, okay, you know, it's time to probably back off a little bit because the pain's coming. And you know, the, the minimum, at least I got in the gym and I did what I, what I needed to do, but that's not enough, right? So I told myself, I said, you know what? Let, let's, let's push a little harder. And so yesterday and today, you know, I started that. Today too, checking the box, where I pushed beyond my comfort zone, way beyond my comfort zone. And we have to do that, right? And it's the same thing goes back, you know, to the sentence. What are we comfortable with? Well. Me and my friends, that's what we're comfortable with. Well, how about my friends and I? It seems simple, but it's not. We have to put others before ourselves, and when we do, we will find that the time we actually get for ourselves will be more beneficial. Why? Well, because simply we have a clear mind. We've done the things that we needed to do and had to do, didn't want to do, but now it's about us and giving us ourselves back for because we've given to others. So I encourage you as you go on to a new week, and I'm sure I've missed my time uh, of doing these, but I encourage you all to put others before yourself. And then when you get that self time, push beyond what's comfortable, get uncomfortable, and watch the difference come. That's beyond your leadership. Have a great week.